Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to run a macro in Excel from Access. Let's begin by opening up Excel. Let's first create our macro by clicking the View tab, going to Macros, and saying Record Macro. I'm going to name this Macro 1 and just say OK. All this macro is going to do is type the number 1, 2, 3, 4 across the top uh, row. So let's stop recording by clicking this little drop down arrow and saying stop recording. Now we have our macro created so let's save this as a macro enabled workbook. Let's click on your office button, go to save as, and we're going to say macro enabled workbook. Let's name it book 1 and just say save. Now we need to go into Access by clicking the Start button, All Programs, Microsoft Office. Let's open Access. We need to create a new database by clicking on the Office button and saying New. I'm just going to leave the name as Database 1 and say Create. Here's our new database. To run that macro from, from Excel macro from Access, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, press F11. This brings up the Visual Basic Code Editor. Go up to the top and say Insert. And we're going to say Module. In our code editor, we're going to begin typing in some code. Now that we have our function created in Access, I'm going to go over it with you real quick. First thing it does is it uh, creates a variable called XL and it assigns that XL value to the create object function that launches a new Excel.application scheme. It then opens up a Excel database that we give to it, which is the path right here that I've typed in. And then it simply says Excel.run and then the name of the macro we created, which was macro1. You can then link to this function Excel test within an object in your database. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just showed you how to run an Excel macro from Access.